Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes it is I, the Cup of Convict, bring you guys and gals another gameplay, so here we are playing some Black Ops 4, and as I'm doing it currently at the moment because my little boy's here, and I've already been to the toilet twice now, I've had to pre-record the gameplay in between obviously doing stuff with him, and then adding my voice afterwards like I'm doing right now, so here we go, let's jump into some Black Ops 4, and see what we can do here, so as you can see we are in the slums, slumming it up, trying to do the best we can. So, am I still enjoying Black Ops 4? My answer to that is half and half. It's a bit like Marmite at the moment. I kind of like it and I also hate it at the same time. There's just so many features and problems with the game that's currently still concurring and it happens to me quite often. Let me know in the comments below if this in fact happens to you. And it's regarding to the specialist. As you all know, each specialist has two abilities. He has his main ability, which is the Tempest, and his alternative ability, which is the Seeker Drone. Now, I don't know why, but as you look on my screen, I have no Seeker Drone. And in the second game, and most of the games, I am not getting my second item. I'm only getting the one, so I can't use the Seeker Drone. I don't know why, and it's not that I'm not adding on the ability to not have the Seeker Drone, because I know obviously if you add on such as the Firebomb or a different alternative equipment, you can't use the second party specialist ability, becomes the Molotov or whatever you want to use. Now, for some weird reason, I don't know why, it never ever allows me to have my second ability. I've tweeted a track so many times, why is it that I don't have the secret drone and I've never had a response from them, ever? Now, I don't know how many times other people have had this issue, but it just doesn't make sense. Number two. Getting into gunfights is really annoying in this game. I've just found myself that no matter if I shoot them first, aim first, do whatever first, even using gung-ho, I still a lot of the time do not outbeat a person, even when I'm using rapid fire at times. I don't know why it happens, but it's one of the most annoying things to happen in a game. I just don't understand it. It's bad enough we have people running hand in hand, like two little girlies skipping along together all the time, which is really annoying. But to have that added on top as well is just really annoying. I just don't understand why it happens. And then I watched the kill cam back and it apparently shows the kill cam. They shot first and I didn't. So Treyak, fix whatever this problem is because it is breaking the game. Another thing that really annoys me that you'll see in the second video is body armor. Why body armor is in this game, I don't know. Multiplayer has the worst you know, track record of body armor users because they know they can get away with using it to get a kill. And it just infuriates you when you're trying to go on high streaks and you can't do anything about it because you've got someone using body armor constantly all the time and it just makes for a really annoying addition to the game. You know, if it's not bad enough we've got specialist equipment that constantly chases you or one shot you but you've got that added as well and one thing I've had a lot of problems which you'll see in the second game is a lot of people using body armor and sniping because they know it doubles their life and now if they only hit you once in order to kill you it's annoying so you see here I'm trying to do my best with what we've got I'm using the KN with stock and rapid fire which I felt you know, I wanted to find out some new guns that had some good attachments for them, so I've been going on to Google and finding out what the, blast, the best class setups are for each weapon. And one for the KM44 was to use stock, the quick draw or grip, whatever it is, the rapid fire with it as well. And that apparently makes it really good. And they also suggested the acoustic sensor. Now I stopped using the acoustic sensor, but as of late I've started using it again just 
for the fact that everybody's running in groups. So I can find out who's running in a group, who's running on their own, and then the only people I've got to worry about then is the ones obviously abusing the uh, stim shot and obviously being able to stim every two minutes, which can be pretty frustrating. But at least I can now pinpoint obviously where groups are and be aware, even with counter UAV. The acoustic sensor still points out people very, very easily to where they are in your field of view. So you can always be aware of where the people are going to come from, which is kind of insane. Let me know as well in the comments below what you feel is your worst thing to come up against. What is it body armor? Is it... Seeker drones, is it the dog? Let me know in the comments below which you feel is the worst one that you hate the most. So as you can see we've got a sniper's nest in, sniping away, getting all those kills in. The score streaks in this game are pretty decent and very very threatening. You know if you go against these constantly trying to outbeat them all the time, they're very very strong. As you can see, uh, the sniper nest is absolutely dominating. I think if we're going to have the streaks as good as this, they should limit the streaks to how many kills they can get per score streak. So if it's a streak that's really, really good, they can only get a maximum of whatever you have to use in order to get them. So if you take six kills to get them, then maybe limit it to only being allowed to have six kills before it goes away. That way then you're not going to end up with ridiculous streaks committing and constantly killing hundreds of people or 10 or 15 people before you die. So we're getting towards the end of the first game in here as you can see 68 kills in and I did pretty well for the first game. So just trying to keep away from obviously people especially the ones using the special abilities like Ruin. I saw the guy on the left there. Just checking no one's coming behind me. So, one thing I've noticed in this game is that the connections are completely inconsistent. Every single game is inconsistent to the other one. You can stay in the same lobby and still have a really, really bad time the next time round. I just don't understand the inconsistency in connections and overall just the way that the teams balance out as well. I've been finding myself going against some crazy, crazy, strange teaming, you know, where, they, where it teams people up together and it just doesn't, doesn't make sense. So there's still a lot of problems, issues and bugs that Black Ops need to fix. So we'll go with round two. Let's get it on once again and see what we can do this time round. So this one I really wanted to point out as well because this one is the one where I was having issues, especially with snipers. I still don't think that snipers have flinch in this game, even though people have suggested that their aims go 10 miles high when they get shot. I don't see it. And I've watched the kill cam and I've not seen them flinch once and they're still able to headshot you with one shot or shot you, shoot you in the upper chest. Obviously having the Paladin you can have double high caliber so you don't even have to shoot for the head to get a headshot. Which makes it pretty pretty difficult in certain circumstances when you're going against in fact a sniper. So here we go. So as you can see he's still using Prophet once again. Just to point out once again I have no Seeker Drone. And this was maybe the fifth time in a row I had no Seeker Drone, just my Tempest. Which I find really annoying because everyone else has got flashbangs and the cluster grenade and all that garbage. And I only have one ability. And one ability that you don't get straight away in the game. As you can see, you're already getting teamers teaming together. So I'm like, well, I, I can't obviously challenge them both together. So I'm going to have to try and duke them. And... I don't know. I felt like I shot first, but he apparently shot first, so I don't know. I shot as quick as I possibly could. So unless he saw me first, I don't know. Another thing I'm testing out as well is wireless towards wired. Because I do feel that wireless are getting more of an advantage, which is really bizarre. 
I did a test on my wired connection. I was finding out I was getting less kilobytes per second, but yet on wireless I was getting more. And I'm on category seven Ethernet connections under the heavy duty ones. So it's not my Ethernets. I don't know what it is, but apparently my test of download and upload speeds with Treyarch's connection when you go into the options apparently was better when it was wireless. Well, it was wired. So, answers on the postcard for that one. So, I'm just trying to figure out where people are coming from. Heard the secret drone, like, no, you're not shooting me, you little drone. You're not getting me. Look like I killed him and thinking, well, Prophet's surely on his way. And then, lo and behold, he's here. He's done. And I, th I thought he was Prophet, actually, but he's not. <laughs> I don't think it was Prophet, anyway. Normally, Prophet always chases his secret drone. I do it quite often, so I, I do know people have a bad habit of doing that. So I know, obviously, people might be spawning from this area. So just hanging back. Waiting for them to come in. Getting ready. So at this point, I didn't know what was going on or where they were going to. So I'm assuming they were going more to the right-hand side. But I kept on looking for them, couldn't find anybody from anywhere. And then I saw a blip in, and I'm like, well, they must be going in there. And I could hear, obviously, they've got their shield, the right shield, or bar barricade, as it's called. I was like, okay, let's just go around, get a flank on them, go this way, and hopefully we should get some kills in. And they got shot from back and like, okay, someone's camping inside then, surely. As you can see, this is how long it takes for your health to re-go back up with acoustic sensor. I still think that they should do this similar with Stimshot. It makes Stimshot only about just less than half to what it is for acoustic sensor. Because I still think the Stimshot is far too fast for what it is at the moment in terms of being able to stim constantly again and again. And the fact you can shoot with your gun while stimming just you know makes it kind of insane so just looking for more people so far let's go this way now normally I don't come here because normally that side is where people snipe from and as you all know people just have to hear you once so I'm trying to look around like, well maybe they are this way. So I noticed one guy up there. And let's watch the flinch. Oh, did I, well, for the other ones I did show it. I was showing before, I thought I'd show it in that one as well. Luckily I got him pinging him up. And so this guy laying down, right now. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. But when you're being pinged out, buddy, that's no good hanging now. So far, surely he's coming back. And yes, he did. So just looking for more people. Saw so teammates up there. I'm like, well, I'm not going that way. There's no point. Tempest. Maybe they're coming from behind. Because in this map they do spawn flip quite often. So just trying to listen out for people. I'm like, well, I've got a Tempest. Maybe I can get one shot on someone. So I tried to go in for the good old Chocker Rooney. And got him. So like, anyone else? Anyone else want to come there? No. I didn't think they would. I'm like, quick, let's go around, because obviously we're getting close towards the end now. I don't want to be getting caught out. Just hanging around there, trying to tempest people. So I'm trying to help teammates out. So I shot this guy. And again, now this is why I'm showing you, look. There barely is any flinch at all on that. Barely any flinch. It's more like an ICR with both grips. Very, very little flinch. Which is kind of insane. For someone who just had to shoot you once. And that's why I struggle so much. So kill this guy. And then there's another guy here as well. I think this guy had body armor. 
No, no, that one. The other one. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Someone had body armor. I can't remember where it was, but there we go. Hopefully, enjoyed anyway. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap the notification bell to be notified of all my videos, and you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or convicts if indeed you are a lady. So here we go, we're coming towards the end now. Hopefully you've enjoyed. You know it is, it is I, the Kappa Convict. I'm signing out, and as always, I salute you, and I will see you soon in some more gameplays. So don't forget, let me know what's your worst one you've gone against, and what do you hate in Black Ops 4, and what do you think of the connection? Well, there we have it. Bye for now.